Yeah, I know it still says up there. It says somewhere now, but I can never really take this thing for like face value. Yeah, there's a bit of lag going on. Well, no, it's like it'll say like it's it's online, but then it'll be like, oh, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, mine just barely kicked on. So who knows how much of that was caught. Yeah, everything, absolutely everything we said was caught. Uh, <laughs> I hope no one heard about my herpes. What? <laughs> oh, I guess you weren't paying attention either. Well, uh, that's I've not never some got. of your secrets with you. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I guess unless you're in California, that's one of the secrets you actually want to tell people. Uh, you, yeah. you, you actually, you, you can tell it in California too because you can't get prosecuted for it anymore. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, enough of that. Enough of that. Um, yeah. Hey, people. Welcome to your Gray Friday. This is the uh, post Black Friday wild cards, last Friday of the month, and right before we hit the great winter time. Um, all the Christmas shit's already out. Wonderful. And the Grinch is out in theaters. Oh, made by the, the Drew Carey one. Made by the people who brought you minions. Yay. That's. That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> well, the thing is about that particular animation studio, I'm not an animation nut, but from what I can gather, they, they're very, very middle of the road. Like, um, you know how, like, uh, there's bell curves? And you kind of, yeah. like, for, like, you know, intelligence of audiences and shit like that. And then I can't remember which which other director was similar to this, though, but there's always, like, directors just kind of aim right for, like, the very middle. Like, the the the... the most broadest kind of audience possible. Yeah. So that, you know, uh, you make, you make a movie. It's not too stupid. So it doesn't feel like, you know, you're, uh, you're making fun of the audience. You're insulting their intelligence. You don't make something too clever where people walk away going like, was the top still spinning? So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, you, 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 it's, it's the, it's that bell curve of prof profitability. You don't want to be outside on the, the extremes. You want to be right where the, Right where the middle's at. You want to hit that middle target. Yeah. Reach the widest consumer base possible. Oh, yeah. They're shoving their... The masses are shoving the popcorn in their fucking gobs. Yeah, Tumblr's already getting a boner from it. Freaking, there's already posts... There's, people are already making posts like, oh my gosh, look how hot the Grinch is. It's like, no. Uh, hot? Hot, yeah. Oh. People are making posts about how hot the Grinch is. Who did it? Who's, who's doing the voice of the Grinch? I, I don't know. <laughs> Mel, so, yeah. you, you're you're the one who's like has a toe in Tumblr and all these other weird fandoms like Five Nights at Freddy's and whatnot. Uh, you, you shouldn't be doing this stuff. What are your fans no. telling you? They're telling me nothing. They're like showing me this post and they're like, "Dude, this has gone too far." This, Mel this, is this confirmed for Tumblr poser. <laughs> oh, dude, Tumblr itself is a. Po Have you heard about what happened with Tumblr uh, last tell me. week? Oh uh, well, apparently Tumblr's app was removed from the Apple Store. Like oh, completely, my. yeah. Well, oh, was... oh no! First, <laughs> first they came for Alex Jones. Now they came for Tumblr. <laughs> no, because here's the thing, though. That uh, as you know, Tumblr is well known for like its mass amount of porn and stuff like that. Um, yes, yes, we 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 know. That's that's kind of where we found you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. But anyways, <clears throat> well, no. But the thing is that the present company, market... present company aside. <laughs> Uh, what well, one's the producer, the other one's the consumer. Shh. <laughs> you don't need to know this. Why but, are we so much more funny without Natalie? <laughs> you know I'm joking, Nat. She's gonna hear this eventually. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, you gotta apologize up front. Anyways, as I was trying to say, it, but the thing is, is that the uh, the pornography there also veered more towards the uh, map community. It's what uh, Mac community? Map M A P. It's basically supporters of pedo genders. Oh, pedo, 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 pedo sexuals. Wonderful. So, so yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, burn Tumblr. Yeah, pretty Please. much. Yeah. So apparently, I I couldn't look at porn anymore on Tumblr without like someone drawing some mom with a huge dick forcing her ten year old to give her a blowjob. It's like ah. You know, or, was... or 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 the, the Grinch's dog with a giant two foot long dick, and the Grinch is now a six year old girl. Yeah, pretty much. It's it, uh, it was terrible, and people were like trying to report this to Tumblr, like, "Hey, this is going on. You need to do something about this." Because the porn bots were getting ridiculous. We 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 literally had a 
like pornog pornography blogs following uh people who were like 16 years old it's like they, they shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff you know we kept turning in these complaints to tumblr and nothing happened and it took after turn into the irs <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. The, 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 the great thoughtening. Yeah. It's, it took Apple to finally realize what was going on. They removed Tumblr from their app completely. It's like, okay, yes, porn is out there, but this kind of shit, kids should not be downloading at all. I, I'm looking at the comments and I can just picture this in my head. Duke comes in going, hey, hey how's it going, everybody? And I was saying, he's like, what the fuck did I walk into? <laughs> And Tumblr, Tumblr lost its shit when they found out about this because they went around and they started terminating blogs left and right. They're they're deleting the porn blogs. They're deleting like any kind of blog that had any kind of report against them. They even started deleting blogs that didn't have any porn content of any kind on it. I actually lost a couple of favorite artists, you know, wow. because of it. Tumblr, Tumblr just went nuts, and a lot of people ended up losing their blogs, even though they didn't have any kind of not safe for work content of any kind on there. Quick, quick so, question: Out of the people in our um, current chat watching us online in the comment box, uh, which one or two of you actually want to come in and discuss the, um, <laughs> the topic of Tumblr getting taken down for child pornography? <laughs> for, yeah. Oh, but, I mean, granted, it, it's bad, but I, I'm pretty sure there's worse shit on Tumblr from oh, no, that, that what I've heard. It, no, that that was the worst. You know, like like I said, I couldn't even look. I, at I, well, I, I imagine like furry pedo shit too. I mean, like it, it, it's it's yeah. like it's it's like pedophile like, intersectionality. Oh gosh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I am on a roll. I took some of that uh, lion. <laughs> I took some of that lion's mane like mushroom pill you supplement shit. You took it, drugs? <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be like a nootropic or neuro whatever the fuck it is. A brain. It's, it's supposed to be the unlimited pill, right? Okay. And I've been feeling pretty fucking good. I'm on the ball here, so. Nice. I've been taking yeah. a shit ton of this stuff just so that you fuckers to have your your video podcast <laughs> today. But then it, it's been a fucking nightmare getting that going. But we'll 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 yeah. bitch about that later. Who wants in? <laughs> you got you got you got up your game, dude. You got. Oh, okay. Your so uh, I Bob wants in and. I Bob is uh, fun as hell, so I'm going to give him a quick invite. Right. Um, for those of you who are new, um, you'll be checking your Patreon for your invites. So nice. if you hear the tick, 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 that's my dog with the uh, unclipped Real nails. Pucky. Puppers. She's or is, or, girl. or her, her real name is Calamity, which she has often been. Yeah. Aww. It's kind of funny. We're called Shisher Cat Studios, and uh, instead we have a fucking dog. <laughs> well, I got a I got a cat. Technically, it's it's not really our cat. We didn't buy it. it's feral. It's feral. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it, it just it just comes and goes, eats and leaves. Well, that, that that's a cat in a nutshell, isn't it? Though. Oh yeah, except you know we don't need a bottle with a litter box. We just take it back outside, and we don't need to deal with the shit or anything. I'm going to um, also include uh, Walking Dead Pan because I think that'd be a fun combination. Okay. Uh, let's see. Walking he's Dead he's Pan. got the math together. <laughs> so this person plus this person equals Leslie and podcast. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I've never been a cat person. I uh, they're, they're fucking horrible animals. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm, definitely. That that massive boost in subscriptions we got, uh, subscribers we got from that J.K. Rowling roast. Uh, thank you, thank you for all of you joining in playing the home game. Oh, um, love you. Well, that's to be determined. I mean, you know, put 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 a dollar in the box, and we'll we'll talk about love. <laughs> sp sp speaking of the the thought tax, um, no, I'm joking. Yeah. But um, what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, cats. That was it. The the, the hey, brain diddy. the brain pills have finally worn off. Hey, oh, no. that's always a good sign. Yep. Yeah, it is. But anyways, quick, um, quick, do more drugs. <laughs> you need to be funny again. I think I have a All right, we've got two contestants. We have iBob. Uh, if for you guys playing the home game, it's really easy to tell who's who. Um, and then we also have the Walking Deadpan. So, thoughts? Don't worry. You could tell he's a deadpan because he's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> At least my fucking mascot doesn't look like a reject from Clockwork Orange. Oh gosh! All right. Well, everyone grab <laughs> I made one like five times. That was the first thing I said when I saw it. 
<laughs> it looks like a reject model for the cover of the original book, if you've ever seen that. No. <laughs> like I look like I, I belong. I look at it like I belong in that penis joke oh, from Austin Powers. <laughs> a penis in a bowl or what? <laughs> I've, 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 this must be a, this must be a joke I didn't hear in the movie. <laughs> well, so you know you gotta go into the fan fiction community where you know. Yeah. But anyways, to the public topic of weird porn on Tumblr. Yeah. I am ashamed to admit I am actually affected by this. Oh, right. did you get your blog deleted? No, I don't oh. have a Tumblr. I'm a purveyor. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say like you're an uncle or something. I'm like calling the police. I mean, I, <laughs> have a nephew. I've got five nephews. Oh, well, no. Okay. Oh, well, I'll keep your hand on the phone then. I swear to God, if any of them call you Two dad, of them are I'm adults. going to Calm find down. you myself. <laughs> Two of them are adults. One is 14, and the others live two states away from me. I wouldn't be able to get to them even if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you have to do is just rent a truck. <laughs> I can't afford it. Van. Rent a van. Uh, yeah, nah, not worth it. It's a day's drive. But, yeah, no. Yeah, weather, I was weather, already affected weather. when they made the fucking thing where, yeah, to look at the porn, you have to have an adult account. You just have to have a fucking account. Yeah. So about 80% of the weird niche porn blogs I looked at are gone. Mm-hmm. And now the remaining 20% are in the balance, and now if I want to get the weird shit I like, I have to go to somewhere like E621. Do either of you know what that is? No. I unfortunately no. do. E621 is a porn website mainly used by furries. No, I'm not a furry. As <laughs> as as as, ev as evidenced inside of our Discord chat, where you're always knocking the shit out of a uh, video gamer oh. and mm -hmm. so cocky. Yeah, and but the basically, I don't basically hate furries. I just think they don't deserve rights. <laughs> So somehow I'm not I, racist, but damn those black people. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was, I was well, just picturing, I was picturing Hitler saying the exact same thing. Said about eight different generations. Trust me. I, I, I come from a family of terribly racist people, so me hitting furries is not that bad. What? Okay. We do not go to the moon for the progress of humanity, but to get this far the fuck away from autistic people. <laughs> do, you, do you think JFK was a furry? <laughs> That I'm would be sorry, hilarious. I had to take care of something. What was Bob on about? My first policy is to yiff in public and make it legal. <laughs> we oh choose gosh. to yiff to the moon, not because yiffing is easy, <laughs> but because yiffing is hard. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what I come back to. And, and then, then, I, then I pictured the little rabbit from Zootopia popping out of a cake going, Happy birthday, Mr. <laughs> President. <laughs> Well, considering that uh, if Zootopia was an anime video that's been making the rounds this week, I'm not surprised you have that on the fucking brain. Speaking of weird porn. Oh, yeah. Or have you guys not I seen that? I, I haven't seen it. I need to share a link on the Discord. Yeah, I thought it got posted. It's pretty good. It's by an animator named Mike Anel. He does really good stuff. Yeah, I like Mike Anel. He does a good job. It's just the problem that he is he adapted the nude club scene from the, the movie. Oh god! And it, if you look, you can find the not safe for work one, and there's just all these weird Easter eggs, like Johnny Bravo's there, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> on, and he's hitting on Jessica Rabbit. The fucking oh, Bowsette meme is there. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Disgusting. It's, it's, fucking, it's hilarious. Look it up if you but find please it. Please tell I'll me see. Nixon is in there. I'd have to go back and look. Everything was around. I am not a furry. <laughs> I am not a furry. I just like to fuck animals. I'd Meanwhile, he's got like a PDA with fucking uh, furry t Twitter furry stuff on his or oh, Tumblr gosh. furry stuff on underneath his desk oh. where the recording device is at. Oh jeez, I mean, it's probably not okay, the weirdest thing I've heard of a bit. president doing. Or I mean, he did ha he did have that Basset Hound. I mean, come on. I mean, that's not. Oh, you want to talk about weird pets? John Quincy Adams had a fucking alligator. <laughs> I am no, not making that up. That's, that's, that's not actually weird. That's, badass. Yeah, that's not weird. It's badass. And uh, fucking Andrew Jackson's parrot had to be taken out of his funeral because the parrot wouldn't stop fucking swearing. You will find so much weird shit. It's hysterical. There's evidence of fucking, I think it was Lyndon Johnson. Like, I've heard this phone recording. I know it's real. Where he had to call a gene company in Texas when he was president. Like, look, my cock is too big. I need bigger pants. 
This is real. Wow. You can look this up. <laughs> wow. Ter- <laughs> Taroni says Andrew Woman is a fairy cured. Uh, yes, but unfortunately, TMF isn't here to be reminded of that fact. <laughs> it's entirely pointless. <laughs> I want fun. to believe. What's stopping you? I don't know. Science. Look, Jesus. man, a pigeon is an angel is just a pigeon with no feathers. All right. So it's you on a Tuesday because you're a fucking turkey. Big Chief is also correct. Andrew Jackson is the only president that regretted not killing more people because his final words in office <laughs> were literally, I have only two regrets. I didn't ha- shoot Henry Clay and I didn't hang John Calhoun. Oh, jeez. This problem makes me was, more and more glad. There makes me was, more and more John glad that I ended up president. dressing up as him for my social studies class in fifth grade. You're a horrible person. Yeah. John Calhoun was his president and one of the people that helped orchestrate the beginnings of Actually, the fucking Southern Secession. So he probably had a point. Yeah. Also, it takes one to know one on deadpan. Oh, I'm way worse than you. I will freely admit that. Yeah, he, he doesn't think free should have rights. <laughs> That reminds me, are I'm you in outer that. heaven? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Oh, that's everything you is right with the world. When we were playing Whiplash last month, I was the one who said, name something that doesn't exist. Palestinian rights. <laughs> <laughs> you guys forget that was me. <laughs> I am actually I liked, I liked how person. I played the I liked how I played the two cards with with the banana running for office. Not an orange it's man. Like, I don't remember that. <laughs> it's like I, that's I got two fun. cards. What will you do with this banana? Make it run for office, see results. And then the next card came him up. Off, awful slogan for a governor. Hey, guys, I'm a banana. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still really proud oh of goodness. that. You should be. We got to do another Jackbox eventually, but unfortunately, we've been working oh, yeah, on the podcast. Oh, yeah, Jackbox so, so good. I actually, uh, I actually bought the, the party pack so we could just play it whenever. Nice. I think I have them all but the new one because they had a humble bundle a little while back with everything in it, and I picked it up on the. Yeah, tape. that's what I picked up. Yeah, the new one came out. It has some pretty fun ones. My favorite is the rap battle game. <laughs> oh, because it basically just sets you up with a rhyme, and then you have to finish it, and then a fucking computer voice reads it back. Pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Craig's here. I was, I was going to ask if there was actually a good, um, any good. Uh... New games on the new Jackbox, but yeah, and it's like an eight. It's like an eight-way tournament where there's a bunch of rounds, and you would vote the inevitable winner. Mm. Like it's an elimination thing too. Oh, it's really hard to beat Quiplash, though. I mean, it's like Cards Against Humanity, except funny. Except lightning round. <laughs> lightning round Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Have you guys seen that they made that uh, that meme version of Cards Against Humanity, where it's just like a picture of a meme, and you have to like, you know, put a card against it. I thought the meme it's really was boring if you understand me. Or to it's, prevent Trump from building a wall. Mm-hmm. It's really it's boring funny. if you understand what the memes are and you have the card. It just it just doesn't fit. <laughs> the problem is, if you understand what memes are, odds are you're not playing Cards Against Humanity anymore because it stopped being funny five years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're playing the expert edition, which is you just find a you, picture online of Spongebob or something. No, no. The trick to make it more interesting is to find people who have never played it before. So that way you could just laugh at their reactions when you play the right cards. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did Actually, guys... Tony just uh, brought something up in the chat about how he, how can they ban hentai from Japan. Actually, in the lead up to the upcoming Olympics over there in Tokyo in 2020, I think, or 2022, they have been cracking down on certain forms of hentai, such as lolicon. Yeah. On it, and making it either harder to find or basically getting rid of it from the store shelves because they know once the we- people come from around the world, they're going to realize, oh, yeah. This is actual <laughs> cotton porn. You can go to a store and buy. Yeah, okay, so I don't care if it's drawn. It's still kitty porn. So, yeah, so, so, so the, the Olympics is actually doing some good, right? So it's 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 making it so that Japan has to at least put away their their drawn child pornography for a couple of days. Whereas when they went down when they went down to Brazil, they actually forced <laughs> they actually made it so all the actual child prostitutes couldn't be on the streets. Oh gosh. Well, look on the bright side. At least they could post it on Tumblr. Oh, <laughs> on Tumblr, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Japan and weird kid porn, did you hear that 4chan just finally put the last nail in their fucking coffin the other week? What they do? What do they do? Uh, they're splitting it into two sites: 4chan, which is all the two chan, and two chan. 
<laughs> no, 2chan? No, no, no. That wouldn't work. 2chan is already the Japanese version of 4chan. Oh, God. But there's 4chan, which is a not safe for work boards like B, Poll, actual porn. And then there's going to be 4 Channel, which is all the safer work stuff because uh, they got tired of making literally no money. Yeah. <laughs> I give it two months before it is gone. That's good. <laughs> Which is fine. Four chan's boring nowadays if they don't have an enemy. Isn't it, That's isn't why it also, I isn't it also kind of like the uh, that one Simpsons yeah. episode where they decided to do like uh, reenact pro prohibition and they're like, yeah, the non alcoholic beer tastes just as good as the old one. And 24 hours later, the entire factory shuts down. <laughs> Was this after season nine? Because if so, I don't it's think before, anyone watched it's, it. It's well before. Then, yeah, I don't remember. That was about three decades before my time. Yeah. <laughs> Not my fault, yeah, you're old. old. I'm old. Oh my god, imagine if they... Oh god, uh, Big Chief just gave me a bad idea. Imagine if they made a real lollicon black market. That already exists. It's called the internet. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a point. I mean... He's got yeah. a point. That, if, if you can not, do... It's not <laughs> sister fucking here in Florida. It's cousin fucking. There's a difference. Yeah. Cousin fucking's legal. Sister fucking ain't. Is, is that why when you go on Pornhub and stuff, it all says like stepsister, step cousin, and all that? Yeah, because incest is actually illegal. It'd be even funny if you actually watch one of those videos and like <laughs> the the girl's like, "No, you're my Elsa here robot voice saying step. <laughs> you're my step brother or something like that." It's like Jesus oh, Christ. Considering that I've listened, I've actually watched my hentai dubbed into English. I have heard that before. It's glorious. Yeah. What, was, what was the worst translation you ever heard? Uh, uh, you're on the spot. Is, would, it be a, would it be too easy a, a target if I said the ghost stories dub? That's not porn. Oh. <laughs> we're, ta we're talking about porn. It's a cop out, but probably Bible Black, just because that, you can, if you watch the English dub, it's a comedy, not porn. Because uh. <laughs> this is the because I'm actually, because one of the lines is, I want you. To put it in my ass. And it's, <laughs> and it's delivered exactly like that. It is the most awkward thing ever. God oh, bless geez. you, Media Blasters. You're still having hentai in 2018. This sounds like a porn parody of Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to, and all of a sudden you see like a little Windows logo spinning, and then it comes back, put it in my Jack, ass. <laughs> Jack from Twitter likes this. <laughs> Oh, That's why the best fucking social media guy was always Tom from MySpace. He just fucked off, and I think he's a photographer now or something. Oh, wow. He just took his half a billion dollars and left. I can respect Wouldn't that. Wouldn't you too? Hmm? Wouldn't you too? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it gives me half a billion boy. dollars. I'd be like, fuck this. No one's ever going to see my fat ass again. <laughs> Actually, I've already lost a lot of weight. I'm going to be down in the Bahamas with my new friends. <laughs> they're, called, they're called Tequila and Bernetti. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this! I'm going to J Japan. Lolly con here I go. Oh, oh god! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! I'm just wondering if that means they're also cracking down on Shotokan too. But at least I hope they are. Ugh. What about Fudokan? Uh, if you're talking about chicks with dicks, it's Fudanari. Fudokan isn't an actual thing, I don't think. Why isn't it? Because it's just a particular subgenre. I thought. I thought. Or is, isn't lollies a subgenre? Yeah. Then why doesn't Fuda have one? It is. It's called Fudanari. Futakan is. I don't know what the fuck that is. I've never heard that. There of needs one. to be a Fudakan, damn it! What is a Fudakan? Don't look at I don't know. Don't know it's a convention for Fudanari. Put your penis on it? Everybody wears no a free longer? strap on. Know. Oh, okay. I think we broke laughing, man. Fubu, Fubu, chicks with dicks. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's like, You guys are using like all these different words. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay. okay. Fubu, that picture you drew in September 13th of last year. Why do you have the date memorized? No, I'm just, I'm just making a joke that she has all these like catalog in her mind. <laughs> no. everything, she, everything she's ever drawn and sold on on Tumblr is like cataloged meticulously in her photographic memory. Uh, no, she's in my folder. Uh, fine. Her fapographic memory. Yeah. No, no, it's all in my black fat folder. Oh, black. trust me. That's nothing. I, every once in a while, I bring out one... Uh, fuck. No, oh, Jesus Christ. I bring out one particular hentai I found a long time ago by just going on to a, on a hentai site and just mashing random for an hour to find the weirdest shit. Oh, gosh. And I'm, I just want you to imagine this phrase. 
dick okay. nipples. I believe that. <laughs> the best part was oh, I was talking God, with an I artist remember. about it, and she drew her fucking interpretation of it. She yeah. was wrong, and I had to correct her, and she went back and drew the right one. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, the things I get up to at six in the morning. Wow. <laughs> that was, like, quite the life. <laughs> oh, no, my life. life is sad and pathetic and miserable. But, but you wake up to four, which, which is why you're here with us. <laughs> no, six in the morning is the end of my day. I wake yeah. up at four in the afternoon, and I go to bed at around eight. I work wow. at night shift. Yeah. Literally, the highlight of my good. week is a cup of jelly beans right now. Hmm. Yep. Glorious. You, you should if you work at a gro you should work at a grocery store so you can like pick up stuff uh, for to eat during your break. I work at a gas station. The food there sucks. I eat it anyway because it's free. <laughs> Listen, you don't know sad until your fucking work snack is a day old stale donut. <laughs> I need to ask if I can. I need to ask the bakery if I can and have their air still donuts. That'd be nice. Because because I, I work uh because I work uh I work maintenance at my at my store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm nice. the guy who makes everything nice and clean. Though it's oh, your you... fault, I'm always stepping in shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to just for dude, you, dude. There is, dude. I have a story to tell you about out a code brown incident at my work during training. If you got a story of someone now. shitting on the floor, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> story Dude. time. Do it. Just go ahead and okay. do it. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'll do it. So uh, you, I you still... this, this is CCS. You don't need my fucking permission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, so uh, I was still in training. Uh, like this was back uh, during uh, July. Um, I, I'm still fairly new at my job. Uh, so I, I was in training. Uh, I was. I was uh, just getting finished with uh, today's training, and and, uh, and lo and behold, the first thing that I was called that me and my uh, and my uh, the guy who was training me, Don, he, the first thing we had to do was get after I got uh, pulled out of my, my training well, for the day was to pick up someone's shit off the floor. Oh, like geez. it, it was so bad it leaked right out onto the main floor. Oh gosh! Yeah, uh, it was like a tiny little is. squirt stream at first. But uh, then you had to, you ended up walking to the, the women's room. And when you got in there, there wasn't a spot that wasn't brown. Oh my <laughs> It was in. The it, there were there were napkins, and and shit everywhere, even the walls and the sinks. What about the ceiling? What did she do? I don't know. <laughs> she, she, she's, she did her she's, best. Don, Don Don had me play a door guard while he cleaned. That place smelled like shit and chlorine for a week. She sounded like Octo Mom giving birth to eight baby brown baby boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And bear in mind, this is a th this is like a, a three stall bathroom. It is like it's like bigger than my bedroom. Jesus. And there was shit everywhere. Well, was wasn't it Nat who <coughs> wasn't it Nat the the ex McDonald's employee who said that women's bathrooms are always worse than the men's? Which I can't. Oh yeah, she, I uh, can't. Yeah. I can't that, that, is, that is a confirmed fact. Bullshit. Trust I me. In the bathrooms oh. in my store, the men's room is always worse. But I uh, go. I work at a fucking gas station in the hood, so that might be why. Also, also, oh, you want to know the ironic thing is, my training for that day, human waste cleanup. At least it was on topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got. Yeah, at least it worked out. I got my. Yeah. I got my certification to be able to ha handle uh, bodily fluid uh, cleanup. <laughs> uh, you're moving right. up in life. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh! What the hell? Yes. All right, you're you're yours. Yours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Go All on, right. Man. So this was back when I was eleven or twelve. I was with my family at a Costco, which for those of you who don't know is basically a big box uh bulk, iron bulk store. I like a Sam's Club. Sam's Club's another big one, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like we Costco. were in the far back left of the store. And suddenly I feel something in my gut. I have ha must have had a bad reaction to breakfast. So I tell my parents like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I pivot and I run like hell. To the complete other end of the store, because I started That's in the back right. left, I made it to the front right in record time. 
are my stubby little fat kid legs. <laughs> and I turn the corner into the bathroom. I'm running through the bathroom. I'm passing the sink. The back stall is open. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to shoulder charge that. I'm halfway there, and I feel something warm going down the back of my leg. Oh, no. Uh-huh. So I slow down. I look back. There's just a trail of poop through the bathroom. Uh... And a guy, and it gets better. A guy and his son were walking in behind me. So I just make <laughs> eye contact with the dad. I'm like, please go get someone from the store that works here. I then proceed to hurry into the stall, do my business, and I get the fuck out of there before the janitor showed up. Oh no! I have not been back there since. That's fucked up. There was I mean, also okay. That's pretty good. But you want to know why mine's better? You may have been the one and who it's caused the shit. Well. I me I I was the one of the people who had to clean that up. Yeah, thankfully mine was just a streak through the middle of the floor, so they just had to hit it with a mop when they were done. They didn't have to repaint <laughs> anything. <laughs> no, well, yeah, walk, 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 there walk, was all. I got one more quick one. All right, I go also ahead. got banned from a Burger King because I broke their toilet. Oh no! Oh my fucking god! No, no, because no. here, get this. I go in there when the I go in there with a friend and like, yeah, cool. I go in there. There's no toilet paper. So I come back out. I'm like, hey, there's no toilet paper. Can you help me out? Because there was only one stall. Sure. They give me a roll and I go back in. I sit down. I hear a popping sound behind me. I shrug. I didn't know what it was. I didn't see anything leaking. So I just went about my business. I hear a second pop. Turns out I had completely detached the toilet lid. I don't um, know how, but I did. Why? It's okay, so weird luck with bathrooms. I so, don't know. I, 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 Bob, okay, so um, not, not to dox you or anything, but what general, like, city are you, What what's near a city that you're near? I, I live in, uh, uh, if you're talking about, like, big cities, uh, uh, I'm talking, yeah, I'd say, general. like, Laconia? Or, or, or like, uh, like, okay, Laconia, we'll use that. <clears throat> now, uh, now, now, what was, what was the name of the facility that you worked at? What was the name of the company uh, you worked at again? Uh, it's uh, Hannaford's. Um, our our parent company is Del Heis. Okay, we'll use Del Heis. See now, walking, uh, walking deadpan. If you were smart, you would have said my second story is I was over in Lakota, <laughs> <laughs> and, I had, and I had to I had to use the women's restroom. Oh gosh! Don't my fucking you know, you, you know the worst fucking part? I would have believed it. <laughs> it would have been magical. It would have been fantastic. I mean, I'm always full of shit, but I'm not that full of shit. <laughs> Wow! Uh, if if if, if 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 that actually happened on on air, it would have been the funniest shit ever. Because yeah, no <laughs> that pun I, was awful. I would I would I would have ever. I would have paid to animate that fucker just like I did the Ducktales thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> the the realization, I'm pretty sure that even though I Bob has no mouth and no expression, that we probably get a pretty good size frown at his, at his avatar. He has no mouth yet; he must scream. Yeah. <laughs> And, and he has no nose, but still he's smelled. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it I could mean, be. This one wasn't me, but back in high school, there were stains um, on the bathroom roof. None of us could figure out how it got there. None of us <laughs> wanted to ask. <laughs> okay, okay. The the worst thing I've ever done is I used to work at a, a, a diner, right? And this place looked like a Coca Cola museum because the owner was. It was like a 50s type diner and everything is Coca-Cola, wallpaper, figurines and glass cases. All, all the booths are white and red. Please tell me all they sold was uh, Pepsi. It would have been funny if they did, but no, nah, that's that wasn't the case. Anyways, so uh, I was I was a, a fry cook uh, during the weekdays, weekday evenings. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like, one of the waitresses walks in and says, hey, we got an issue with the men's room. Uh-oh. And so... I walk out and I open up the men's room door, and inside you see a deadpan. <laughs> inside it looks like something the deadpan would have done. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 look, it looks like someone just like dropped like a whole like fifty pound, <laughs> a whole fifty pound bag of dog food right in the middle of the toilet, right? Oh gosh! And so, and so I look over and the the person who who was taking credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> was was he, he was he was a mentally challenged friend of the family, 
Oh. And if, if you if you want to get an idea of what it looks like, go on Google and type in Preacher Jesus Descendant. Oh, fuck. Oh, because if you ever read the, the comic Preacher and the character of Jesus' Descendant, because he's like inbred. It, <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's 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 the one with it's the one with the, the mono eyebrow and no chin. Yeah, no, oh, I see geez. him. I see him. It's, it's he, he he looked like that, right? And so I'm like, well, what do you want me to like do about space. it? I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> he has the same look of content. If you go to the comicvine.gamespot.com link. Yeah, no, I'm gonna post it in the Discord. Give me yeah. a minute. So, anyways, yeah, I need to see this. He has yeah. he has this like look of just absolute content on his face, and I'm like, "Well, what do you want me to do about it?" And the waitress is like, "Well, you gotta go in and clean it." I'm like, "I'm the cook. I'm not touching the fucking thing. You can't walk out. You can't be a cook. <laughs> walk into yeah. the bathroom and walk out with a fucking plunger and bucket." <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this shit. Literally. Oh, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, imagine imagine you're in a little grease and greasy spoon diner. <laughs> you hear some commotion by the restrooms. The cook goes inside, comes out. <laughs> Comes out, goes back in with a plunger and rubber gloves. Comes back out with a bucket, and then the next I got the burgers for the next week. Boys. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, it's called mystery meat for a reason. <laughs> Bravo! That's All right. <laughs> I actually got one more, though this one isn't that disgusting. It was go, just go I got so right. Right now, I'm bringing in Big Chief TOF and Magic Base, but while they're uh, getting their invites, go ahead. Yeah. Right, yeah. So back in college, I had to share a four bedroom apartment with seven other people, two or two room. We had two toilets, one on each side. Over the course of a month, one guy managed to clog the same toilet four times. Wow. It got so bad, I had to perform a literal exorcism on the toilet with bleach. Because uh. I am a, because I am a priest, so I had to say, fuck it, I'm calling in Jesus on this one. <laughs> Maybe he can help me, because Jesus ain't worth shit. Yeah. There's, there's not enough holy water, man. Yeah, you mean well, holy, holy water, holy bleach, glory? same thing. You can drink either one. Yay! Uh, whenever I try drinking holy water, it burns. Uh, yeah, that's a you problem, not me problem. It's probably because your throat's really dry. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. As I put my it's hat, the idea, as I put my hat back on to hide my. Man, when Satan gets to you him just look at, four, you just you're look over be at, screaming for Jesus too. You, 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 you just look over at the at, at the nearby bucket of uh, holy water you got it from, and you saw uh, that the uh, that the minister or was zipping his pants up. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, is that wouldn't be the worst thing a priest has given to a child. Oh. oh! Well, back to Tumblr again, I guess. Yeah, oh, we're, we got we, 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 we got distracted talking about shit. This so fucking stream better be called Scat Stories or something, <laughs> or Scat and other scary stories, something alliterative. Uh, Tumblr. Yeah, this the, the name of this is gonna get us kicked off of YouTube forever. It's gonna be called like Scat Child Pornography in Tumblr. Uh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible people. It's all come around full circle. People I'm enable me to get away with this shit. It's coming around into a full toilet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's swirling around the bowl, and you got to piss on the last bit to get it off. <laughs> uh, we, I, we we can think of something. <laughs> we can think of something. There, there is too much good material here for us not to make up a funny idea. Okay. Oh. Oh gosh, my throat hurts. Uh, the last time I heard this much shit, I watched last week tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, that's, that's the funny. time I heard about this much shit. I heard you open your mouth <laughs> so five oh. seconds ago. Sweet new record. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a world record when he does it and talk for more than five minutes. Last time I seen this much shit, my ass exploded in a female <laughs> woman's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> It was you. <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> You're probably banned from my store then. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. They don't know his face. They can't ban him if they don't know who did it. I oh, don't. It, it was me. That's, that's, that's what they call probably, Big Chief. Yeah, my 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 um, my uh, my associates probably already figured it out. The problem is, after what he did in the bathroom, every time he farts, you just hear a slight whistling noise. <laughs> 
Well, after what he did in the bathroom, whenever he farts, all he hears. <sighs> <laughs> you just no, 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 no. Whenever he farts, you hear. Let me out! No, no. <laughs> Speaking of airy farts, where's magic based? <laughs> this is yeah, where is Craig? This uh, is uh, he was in the he was watching the stream. I know he's he's. I, I told him I was inviting him in. I guess maybe he's. Tarotti's right. We just got to call the stream the fucking aristocrats. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There's a there's a special. There's not enough weird shit for it to be called the aristocrats yet. Your queen has arrived. Oh my god. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. For 11 times in five minutes? No, no, no. No, no. No, that's the title. Weird shit happening on Tumblr. And in Tumblr. So, are we calling that women's bathroom Tumblr now? Your queen has arrived. It's a special boy. And and luckily you didn't hear my last joke. Oh, I heard it, bitch. Oh shit! And I'm, down. Gonna, but... and I'm just gonna say, Fubu, hold my weave, earrings, and baby. <laughs> <laughs> Go kick ass, darling. Do I need to get the mop? Attack oh, from the front. He might poop on you. See, no. <laughs> oh wait, magic base. You poop from the front. Magic base. You should have said, well, at least my ass isn't shaped like a rectangle. <laughs> I can't help that, unfortunately. It already is. <laughs> Get stuck up there. The um, the butt plug mounted on the two by four. <laughs> <laughs> the two by four meant for my ass. Yes. Look, man, I'm just glad. Or I'm just glad Frank's finding work after Ed, Ed and Eddie. Sure, <laughs> but at least it pays the bills. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just waiting for those 500 new subscribers just to start dwindling. <laughs> I'm talking about like, shoving two by fours up each other's asses now. It's like it's a it's it's a Discord joke. Come on. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. We just gotta start talking with German accents and it'll be all right. In the <laughs> oh, Cultural appropriation. <laughs> Svetlana gets you for the plank. <laughs> so that's why Hitler always looked pissed. I've got a small I've got a small sketch story you just, at work. You just hear Hitler come really? out of his office. Who stole my water plank? <laughs> The, the greatest guys. trick the Austrians ever pulled was convincing the world Germany was responsible for both world wars. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying this is someone with Austrian blood. Oh god. <laughs> we have dodged so many goddamn bullets. <laughs> and, and war crimes. <laughs> and war crimes. When, the, when the entirety of Europe loses to a shitty painter, I mean, Europe can be defeated by anything at that point. <laughs> Not even like that, he was a team-killing painter, too. <laughs> I really like I gotta chop up blood. This is too good. You know, technically, the best person ever is Hitler because he killed Hitler. Points has been made. <laughs> wow! All right, all, all you motherfuckers. That's joke of the night. <laughs> That's joke of the night. If you aren't sharing this, share it now. God damn it! This is gonna be the best wild cards ever. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, yes, I'm getting on this right now. <laughs> I'm saying Edward. this to my friends, and they're going to end up hating me forever. <laughs> is that why he friends. got into? Is that why in that one robot chicken skit that Hitler got into heaven because he killed himself? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. No, he got in because Justice. God's still pissed about Jews taking out Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was just doing the Lord's work the entire time. I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> Turns out we were doing the same thing the priests were into themselves. <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> yeah, lucky me. <laughs> I I'm telling them that we're talking the worst shit right now, and I'm fairly certain we're all going to get charged with with, with war crimes for what we're saying. Yeah, so? we're all going to kicked off the internet. <laughs> so? Shit, according to where my current location is, I I'm, I'm in the EU. I'm going to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. The worst thing I the worst thing you do is just deport me back to America. Poor Magic Base is the one getting fucked. <laughs> nah, man, they'll just Wah. deport you to somewhere else in the Commonwealth, like Australia or Canada. Jeez, come to Canada. We got weed. Yes. Yeah, you yeah, also got I Trudeau. Wonder. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you, you need the weed for Trudeau. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's the only way oh, we can actually. Really it's the only way you can actually hear a word he says, and and it would make total sense. 
<laughs> anyways, we got to <laughs> let we got to let I Bob and Wa- Walking Dead Pan go unfortunately cuz this has been amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god, that reminds me of one last was last story related to VR chat. Uh, uh so me like uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to say this real quick and then Bitch, I'll go. It's my turn for the spotlight. <laughs> out. Okay, uh, madame. Uh, uh, well, fine. Uh, I'll, save, know, it, I'll it, save it for I'll save it for Discord then. Right nah, right. Nah, I can't nah, tell if Magic Vase is I supposed was, to be Elton John, Madonna, or both. All of them. I'm all the queen. <laughs> I'm all the queens and divas, honey. Yes, queen. Slay. <laughs> I was oh gonna say if it's a VR chat one, go ahead and say it because when uh, John Tron posted that video of Piglet committing suicide, that was the best thing ever. <laughs> Remember was... when John Tron posted okay. content? I don't either. <laughs> I'm fucking here. Anyway, uh, okay. Video. So me and my friends were playing VR chat together. We went to that that really popular Japanese pagoda uh, town one. Yeah. And I was Shaggy, my friend was Scooby, and my other friend was a uh, hand dude from uh, from My Hero Aka. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And we were just hanging out by ourselves with these weirdos. And uh, and I was weirdos. in the bathroom. Uh, with, with, I was in the bathroom that had the, the bathtub in it. And I was able to see my friend who was out in the in the laundry area in front of it and I could see him out the window and he was looking at me. He was like, don't you mind, man? I'm trying to take a shit. And then and then Scooby and then my friend who was Scooby came in and he's like, but Reggie, there's the bathtub. And then I was him, you think I don't know that, Scoob? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Reggie, don't written the rat row. Poor Casey Kasem. His legacy will be forever tarnished. Okay. Okay. Greggy, no, I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Scoob. It's really good with with this sausage, man. Oh no. And you know the worst part is, I could actually see Ishagi eating a, a sausage covered in peanut butter. Wow. Well, I was, I was I'm pretty sure he has. It's a nice little <laughs> innuendo. As long as it's not during when Casey Kasem was voicing him, because oh god, the bastard insisted that he was always a vegetarian. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so we're going from our innuendo to magic being in your endo. <laughs> Have fun. That's fun. All right, I'm going to step down and let, let the queen take the spotlight. You, <laughs> you, you guys ha- have fun. Okay. All right, later, dude. So All right, Walking uh, Dead. If I like, 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 like Fubu said, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I just hope she brought a shot collar and a leash this time. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure Laughing Man will be a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And he died. I hope you're no. happy. <laughs> not Just the first. Melted him went down the drain. Not the first person who's died in front of me. Something I have a shit-related lost. story too. Do you want to hear it? You might as well. It's a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so when I was in college, I was when, living when, in the when the, when the segues are fucking scat stories, child pornography, and two by fours being shoved up a, a person's ass. Jeez. Welcome to okay. CCS, all you newbies. <laughs> this is a story that happened over like an evening, and then like the day after. So like I was I was uh, sitting in the uh, uh, the one of the main rooms in this dorms. It's like a very long dorm with like. Like a TV room on on the second floor, and I had my Xbox. It was late at night. I had my like 360 hooked up there. This was like fucking six years ago, and I was sitting there playing Xbox on the TV. Fucking guy walks in drunk, just absolutely fucking wasted, and he pa- he like passes out on the couch for like five minutes, and he immediately gets back up, leaves the room, and I hear a loud. Oh dear echo. God! Hmm. What was that? Eh, whatever. It was probably nothing. So I play for another, like, yeah, two hours. And then I go unhook my Xbox and start taking it back up to my room, and I go to open the door, and it hits something. And I just turn, I peek around the door, and he had been passed out there for the last two hours, like, right outside. Oh, gosh. The so, uh, I basically find, you know, the other people in the dorm who were his friends. Yeah. Uh, oh, drag him back friends. to his room. Get him on, you know, like, sit, they set him down on the bed, and the one girl tries to take his hoodie off. And there's like a gap between like the bed and like the wall next to it. So, like, she goes to like pull the hoodie off of him, and it's like, a, like, a, like when you rip, whip a dinner cloth table like off of a table, and like <laughs> everything just kind of comes off with it. 
he just kind of rolls over and smacks head first into the wall. He's, like, <laughs> still, he's, he's still like not, he's still fucking nearly passed out, right? Oh gosh. So I managed to get him to bed. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm friend, I was friends with one of the uh, people. So basically the way the dorm was in some areas, there's in some r- rooms, there's two rooms connected to like a porch area. Mm-hmm. And one of them's like a single bedroom. The other ones are two double bedrooms. So he was the guy drunk guy was in one of the double bedrooms. And my friend was in one of the single bedrooms. So he comes out into this little porch area in the morning. And there's like coil of shit directly on the like very center of the floor. Oh, oh, God. What the fuck was that? He texts me. It's like, dude, I, there's like shit on the floor. Like, I, I, I'm looking at that, this text going, what? No, he's like, come see. So I go and come see. You know, and I, I walk in and there's just that little coil sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck? What's happening? All right. Well, get some, I guess we'll get something to fucking clean it up and get out of here. So I go into the bathroom and the bathroom is just smeared with shit everywhere oh, oh my god we walk in and we're like what the <laughs> fuck happened it looked like so apparently what happened was he was losing like what some people it happens to some people when they get really drunk they just lose control of their bowels yeah like, so he couldn't make it to the bathroom for the first coil so he shit on the floor oh <laughs> then he gosh. made it to the bathroom and uh and like like the sh- the sh- he was really drunk, so he didn't know what he was doing. So the shit uh, on the floor, he tried to clean up with a towel, and he just smeared it all around the ground everywhere. And then he was trying to clean up like random stains on the walls, so he's just smearing shit on the walls. Oh <laughs> he's just word. smearing shit everywhere. <laughs> like he didn't get in there. It's just like, what the fuck happened in this place? <laughs> Everything apparently. It looked, it looked like a poop grenade went off. <laughs> oh no! Oh dear God! Sorry, Net Net just got home, so now you gotta say the entire thing all over again. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Nah, I'm joking. Okay. Oh. oh God! I was telling her this is gonna be the best wild cards ever. <laughs> yes, I'm stealing your headphones. And your panties. You can, you can use my earbuds here. Add the bra. You, you got. You got to clean the wax. <laughs> yeah, he's got. He's got the. Uh, that you suck. The tire off and <laughs> He's got a. T- he's got a tampon somewhere. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh god. oh god, do I scat? Do I scat? Share my um scat related story? Although oh, is, 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 is this the th- running theme of the night? Yeah. Is scat story? May, is, may as well. May oh, as well. God. You let the degeneracy start. <laughs> you, get, you got the turd rolling, so... <laughs> <laughs> you got the turd rolling, and it just turned into a cannonball, into a boulder, and now, now it's become a landslide. No. Yeah, mine's, go just, way. mine's just small and simple. It was a mat work in the women's toilet. There was a lump of shit with a moat of piss around it. And I had only just started working there a week. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're sitting there going like it's not worth it, but at the same time, on your resume, you can't say that you worked for a job for one day. <laughs> <laughs> was there like a line of piss around it, like some no. sort of sacrificial thing, or no, an actual moat of urine? Oh, I think like someone a... was. I think someone was building a castle with it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and I've got a bonus. It involves a dead seagull. Okay. A person so like you said, and I had a boner. I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you German? Isn't that telling us about? Fubu, you dirty, <laughs> Fubu, you dirty girl. I'm gonna shit out a seagull. Is that what? Sorry. Is that what happened? No, it involved. No, it involved a seagull flattened in the drive-through. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, um, a manager helped to pick it up. She held the shovel. I held the um bag so she could scoop it in. The problem. She lifted it up with a shovel. The head fell off. The guts came out. She dropped it, and I dropped the bag. And we ran to the thing. And we we're screaming. It was unpleasant. <laughs> Oh, I still gosh. have the nightmares. So then we, still... don't worry, we scooped it up and served it as chicken nuggets. Yes, that's how it should be done. We don't believe in waste. Yeah, I'm like America. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, we, we get that a lot. Freaking amusement park bathrooms are the worst. Oh dear God. Especially during the summer. Oh my, oh. I I only take care of like the women's bathrooms, but gosh dang, women are just as bad as men. Oh my god, I, I can't. 
I can't tell you when I used to clean the bathroom how many tampons and panty liners I found. Yeah, tampons, pads, freaking a lot of people missing the toilet completely. It's like, or, really? or is this called a vampire snack bar? <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. I don't think even a vampire would have that unless they don't mind a slight smell and taste of fish. You just walk in and some creepy guy's just licking them and you're like, close the door. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, sir. At least they're not. Pe- at least you don't have people going through them and picking up things. They say, "Great, I can paint with this." <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, remember when Buzzfeed did that? The brush has I, paint on it already. I remember when Buzzfeed did that. I try not to. Oh god! Yeah, the fucking feminists like painting with their period blood. Brilliant. Seriously? Yes, it's a one, thing. There's that one female Why? quotations artist who was like. Putting like these eggs filled with paint in her vagina and then just kind of, you know, squatting over this canvas with like two ladders or like a board between the two ladders and then just kind of like popping them out in random places. The I fuck think... is wrong with these women? On the canvas? Well, the, what was... else, how else can they contribute to society? I mean, other than well, suicide. They can't and they, they, they aren't. They just think they are. That's what a gender studies degree will get you, ladies. Yeah. Suicidal thoughts and an egg in the vagina. <laughs> Jeez. Speaking of art, I um did some kind of artistic um pursuit. I say artistic pursuit, more like autistic pursuit. Yeah. What? Why? It about invo- Tumblr again? It's in- no. It involves um. Well, I s- um. It involves a Rapunzel Disney store doll. It's in whore yourself out. Basically, I gave it long hair. Like I actually scooped out the hair and. Gave it new, longer hair because for some reason they only do it up to the ankle, which huh. pissed me off. So I gave her like longer hair. The photo's in the um thing, but I can't be. Bo- uh, wait, I've got it on Instagram, but I can't be bothered to. Oh wait, I've linked the Instagram. Never mind. Wait, what, what was this again? A doll. I, yes. You you gave a doll extensions. No, <laughs> I actually, no not extension. Like I actually properly like d- redid her hair. I'm thinking, man, your hair living up to that stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't cut hair for shit. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I get bored easily. And I'm working on Ariel. Oh. Yeah, you suck. I'm going to give her a real tail. It's, it's about damn time. Unfortunately, Nat's <laughs> just here listening at the moment. Hmm? Nat's just listening at the moment. Oh, as, it, yeah, as a woman should do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just, just shut the hell up and listen. <laughs> if they were your allowed privileges, because <laughs> well, yeah, you're, you're not really a woman. So. <laughs> uh, oh okay. no, uh, she yeah. drew, no, she drew all our shit. Well, no, I, was, I, was, I was just thinking the the way that she describes her marriage, she sounds more like property. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, who's the property? Fubu. Oh dear God. Well, she's the one talking about, like, you know, no, no, we're the ones who made the jokes about tying her to a sink and things. So never mind. No, you guys did that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you pin the shit on me. <laughs> like, oh, she's describing her marriage like this and like this. And I'm like, no, we didn't. <laughs> is it cruel that the second, is it cruel that the first, that the second that my friend came out as transgender, like from male to female, I locked her in the kitchen and said, right, that's where you'll live now. <laughs> she's still there. Well, I think she's it was her choice. Else. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. Well, back we to here. Have regrets yet? <laughs> well, back to here now. Oh gosh. Oh, god. that's terrible. Oh god, here's something that pissed me off. A transgender friend, female to male, well, formerly female to male, got pregnant, and now they're living back as a woman. It's just like people want attention. Whoops, my bad. Oh, go back. Let's put it back on. I'm sure we can um, appeal to some kind of sexual fetish market. <laughs> They've gone. Oh, nope. Hey, One of them's back. So, what I miss? A uh, whole, whole lot of shit. You miss And me. that's Literally. not even a joke. Nope. <laughs> I, was wor- I was at work. How bad was work? Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, it you're, was... kind of, you're kind of being our storm cloud, Natalie. Shush. Yeah, it's it like, was... that we're, it's like that. We're less funny now that she's here. Mm-hmm. 
what? I, I... <laughs> Listen, I... Every party has a pooper, and the pooper of this party is... I was working Apparently there's a lot of poopers. Everyone, Would you shut a lot of people up? just, just shit everywhere. Every time I start, you fucking it, it was the shit. It was the shit apocalypse. Because <laughs> we're actually having fun, Nat. And then you hear your saying, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. She's being really lazy, not using her actual, like, own microphone she's just no, using yours we're just we're in and the I same thought, room listen we're I, in the same we're in the same room and if we if i use my microphone you'd hear us both twice and i thought i was the diva. for that yeah, i know right <laughs> listen, I've, been digger. Work. I've been at work since what, what time did i start half past six i started it's been a busy night i've been serving drinks to assholes okay give me some slack has, has, this really? guy should stay in the kitchen. What 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 do the bathrooms Honey. look like? That's what we want to know. Yeah, what do the, what do Honey, the bathrooms you sound look like? A bit drunk. What? what? Why? Because How that's the running theme of the entire working? night is horrible bathroom stories. Oh, God, I got a blowjob in a bathroom. Somebody at work <laughs> said, wow. that "If if you're if you're gay and your boyfriend has diarrhea, does that count as lube?" <laughs> Does what? it magic me? <laughs> I think as long as you don't drink from the Brown River, you're fine. Yeah, you can magic based. <laughs> I've got to say that to the next. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the quote of the day. Were, were, you, did, were, you, were you gonna say that's a delicacy? <laughs> yeah, just just don't just don't drink the chocolate milk. You should be okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you gonna make it? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I've got Kate Jesus on my side. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> One more. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Did the ceiling go down wrong down the wrong hole? No. <laughs> <not>. <laughs> no, it tried to come up the right. The, no, it tried to come up the wrong hole. Okay. <laughs> Mature. That's us. Hi, Bob's like, I've never heard Craig laugh. <laughs> shit, I let shit, I let go of the uh, 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 sorry. Uh, shit, I let go of the fact that I'm not an emotionless robot. Oh, I'm sorry. Sakaki says, since Nat joined, the stream died for me. You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else oh, died gosh. for me? My fish. Oh, oh, no. Well, he was and being... Not depressing. Nah. Well, it was kind of both of our fault. He was being naughty. He kept bashing into the other fish. So I figured to teach him a lesson, I would take him out of the water for about an hour. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that fish need water. And, well, he learned his lesson. He never hit anyone again. With death. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way to learn. Yep. Death, I, the I, ultimate I, I, punishment. I hate to think what you'd do if you had a hamster. Armageddon! Gosh. <laughs> have you ever seen the, um, have you ever played the um, South Park game? Oh, Certainly gosh. not that. Which one? Wow. The last, the latest one. No, I haven't. Uh, oh god, that was a disappointing ending. Well, it's starting to sound like it. Mm. Well, I say disappointing. It's just like, what the fuck was that? A yeah, stick of tooth was uh, was better. Yes, a stick of tooth. The stick of truth. Yes, right. a stick of tooth. A, a, st a stick of what? edition. The diggest tooth. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> We're dick, you know, dick sucking jokes. I've been looking at my avatar and Wade's avatar and wondering if I could be a whitewashed version of him or he can be a tan or a, a brown stained version of me. Yeah. Uh I'm still I'm still open to take your commissions if you want to do some alterations. Hmm. Come on, speed the starving artist. Give her money. I think yes, in the please. spirit of our JK Rowling podcast, you need to do a one off redesign of our avatars, but race swapped. <laughs> and gender flipped. Can I? Oh my god! I want to be an I, Asian male. What would my name be? Um, 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 
Now call me Celine. Okay. Celine based. Sounds good. And I'd like to be um hang on, what's the least um shithole ish race? Can't think of anything. <laughs> Can't think of any. They're all stuck. Yeah. Jeez. They all suck. It depends how much you pay them. Good point. Does anyone want to make a bet at how far J.K. Rowling will go to stay relevant? Like, I think, kind of, I think we kind of went over that in the last audio update, or the last uh, after hours. And I was, uh, okay. And a star was born. <laughs> yes, your your break your breakout role. Oh gosh! Can you imagine no. giving birth to a star? How much that would hurt. Oh. <laughs> Patrick's mom must be in agony to this day. <laughs> Speaking of which, the fucking creator of SpongeBob died. Yeah. I know that was that was depressing. He was only like fifty-seven. Still, yeah. there was one good thing though. People just re just people just sharing all the best moments from SpongeBob. Oh, definitely. Though no one shared band geeks. <laughs> Have you finished those errands? <laughs> Have you finished those errands? Have Matt's looking it? at me in confusion because he doesn't watch Spongebob. Uh, no. I was so ready to make some Spongebob jokes. but the, the only thing funny about Spongebob I've seen recently is apparently in um, one of the XCCCP USSR countries, someone's going around to all these communist statues and like markers and things and art. And they're like repainting a lot of them to look like American icons. Like there's like uh, there, there's a star above I think one of the old state buildings. <laughs> so, someone painted it to look like Patrick off a of SpongeBob. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, beautiful, brilliant. Did any of you see that trailer for the live action um, Lion King? Well, I say live action, but it can't technically be considered live action because everything is fucking animated. CG, yeah. yeah everything's CG, but they decided to use fucking live action background. They did that it for dinosaur. Like, they did that for like, dinosaur. And they didn't call that live action. It already looks like it's like why would what why I said why... in the Hollywood thing, which is that they don't show any emotion. Exactly. Yeah. The the quote live it's, action one looks more dead than the animated one. Did you see the yes, Dumbo it, it's one? It's literally going to just be realistic looking lions talking. Have you, have you seen like, the Dumbo trailer? I mean, yeah. I'm still going to watch that one because it's got Danny DeVito in it. But still, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I was going to say. I was actually thinking about going there just to watch Danny DeVito. Hell, I'm thinking about watching the I'm thinking about watching the Lords <laughs> because of fucking Danny DeVito. Do you think it's do you, who is he playing Dumbo or? No, he plays like the <laughs> playing Dumbo. He plays the ringmaster. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that's Magnum. perfect, actually. He Magnum yeah. covers for my Magnum ears. <laughs> wow, the Magnum feather. Oh, do you remember the uh, the meme I showed you, the Castlevania one? Not Danny DeVito. The always, the always sunny Castlevania one. No. Good oh, I've got a um, I've got a Danny DeVito related GIF. Okay. Post on Discord. Uh, give me a minute. It, yeah. I'll do it on um, what would it be? Memes and shit post. Now, you're talking about this Castlevania meme, and you're not explaining what it is. Okay, so basically, it's um, Dracula going, oh, I've been resurrected again, I'm going to wreak havoc on the world and, you know, take over. And then it shows a clip of um, Danny DeVito in a way, sunny in Philadelphia, the episode where they break into that house, and he's got a whip, and it goes, <laughs> <"Back off!" laughs> We still need to add that to the new video. Yeah. You seriously just remember the one I, I just remember the one you're talking about because I gotta whip a bitch. I'm gonna whip this bitch in the oh. shit. Nice. How wet is it? Well, speaking of uh, the next video podcast, the vast majority of it is done. We need to do Mel's mouth animations. We didn't oh, get it done man. today, which is the end of the month. We're hoping to get it done sometime tomorrow. Well, technically, it wasn't our fault though, because Adobe's been being a bitch. Yeah, Adobe's been a real SOB lately. I was going to say use the C word, but uh, we'll, we'll keep it a little bit. Have Adobe's being a cunt. It's not have hard. Have you not tried <laughs> using your ring hand on it? That usually works with a bitch where I come from. <laughs> Where's my like, money? But no, like, every, time we try to ex <laughs> every time we try to either export the mouth animations or like uh, sometimes a random will just crash. Like the exports weren't working for ages. 
and then like you'd open with like Premiere, and like the, the Premiere it. probably just open up and just crash and die. Found it. I've sent it to memes and shit posting. So I'm trying to get this thing done in a week, and it's not working. Oh yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah where he, he does the Jim Carrey thing, thing and crawls out of Kim Kardashian's ass. Yeah, I've seen that oh, one. Gosh. You gotta open up memes and shit posting to see what magic face just. Put. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> so you just can't stop looking. So if you guys are joked out, should we move on to the next group, or do you guys have anything else to? Uh, to usurp that epic beginning that we had. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we only get one. All right. I could um, if you want instead of a joke, so I can just traumatize you. No, no might as well. Uh, let's see what can I got. Oh God, I need to delete that. <laughs> and that. that. Good. And that. Meanwhile, on Tumblr. No, I, I will not leave left. I haven't had enough time in the spotlight yet. Tumblr oh seems God. to have been where, like, all the recent, in the recent years, just all the degeneracy just has kind of leaked out of. Out of what? Of Tumblr. All right. It's like. I was going to say Magic Beast's ass. <laughs> it le- no, it leaked out of this girl's ass. <laughs> At that point, we were like, we told you, but would you do anything? <laughs> no. Hey, Magic Beast. We went to <laughs> we went to Brighton because my uncle was just opened up a B and B, uh-huh. and we went to a pub called the Bulldog. Oh, and dear God. Uh, we had we took part in a quiz night hosted by a drag queen, and it was the best thing ever. So it's not called the Bulls Deep Dog. <laughs> that's a different kind of uh, sexual orientation. Now that's what happens in the basement, you know, on the, like every Sunday. No, it's the furry one. <laughs> Okay, I just can't. Okay, for some reason, I just keep sharing a random shit from my thing. I fell asleep in class today for four hours. For four and hours, nobody noticed. Aaron what came was the by class? and said, "Why didn't that fall asleep in class in for four hours?" And I'm sitting there like, "She's sleeping in class for four hours." She pulled up three chairs, made a little bed out of them, Aww. slept through Aww. slept through apparently two entire classes, and woke up woke up woke up. In the middle of a class that she wasn't even part of. Oh gosh. <laughs> must have been like a hobo. Nobody oh. fucking noticed. Nobody bothered. <laughs> That's I only meant to lay down for 15 minutes. What's that dark lump over there? It's breathing. No, listen, <laughs> right? Because basically what happened is we had our seminar and then we had a 15 minute break before uh, the workshop started. So I went up to the workshop place early. And I was like, oh, I've got 15 minutes to kill. I'm going to have to work late tonight. And I've been up early. I'm going to take this opportunity to take a little nap. So How I put, are you not- I put right. three chairs together at the back of the room behind a desk. And I lay down to go to sleep. And usually the team members in my group for my, se- for my workshop, they usually wake me up. This time they fucking forgot or some shit. <laughs> I woke up four hours later. <laughs> And then I look around, I realize I don't recognize anybody. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> to be fair, I probably would have left you to that. Because it, it, it's it's oh. way funnier when you just leave them there. I would have probably it's like, did we wake her up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? So wait, did Aaron see me? No, they're they're texting back and forth in that Facebook chat. And Aaron was leaving for work and he's like, is that coming back today or is she still sleeping in class? <laughs> what the fuck? There's two dads. What's going on? What the that fuck? is your evil twin. What is, what is happening? There's two of them. I, I don't understand. Lucky man. <laughs> oh dear God. You got to cloning this dude. Like that weird know. fucking Jinji Ito story of that bitch that keeps fucking regenerating into copies. Now, so if there's two of you, can I take one of you home and experiment on? Nothing too wrong. I just want to graft a um, fish tail and try to make <laughs> a real mermaid. You're, you're, you're make a real furry. <laughs> oh, like, I've, got, I've got this two by four. <laughs> no, that... now, now, now what I'm no, going no. to do is I'm going to shove it directly up your ass. <laughs> Why did you sign black? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just picture I just picture Magic Base having like this like Laughing Man pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> it took me oh, a 
Oh, in it. oh, that's an idea for merch. I know. Yeah. I was actually thinking about it. Yeah. We'll have to hire a, a Korean sweatshop or something. <laughs> Pouring yourself out to Koreans now. Okay, so I, I, I sent a uh, invite to Shen Yongo, and I also sent one to Taroni. Uh, check your Patreons, fellas. So it's my last. After that, I'll bring in Duke and uh, see Sakaki still around. And I think I saw a video game, video game hunter. And I think that's I saw Luke V earlier though, but I don't see him anymore. Luke V. Speaking of video (laughs) games, I bought one recently, and I semi regret it. Which one was it? God, you bought a video game in this day and age. What are you thinking? Was it Pokemon Seventy Six? No, Pokemon (laughs) Let's Go. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like a super dumbed down version of Pokemon. Yeah, I, I heard or about Pokemon that. Go. Or if you can... it's, not, it's not as dumbed down as Pokemon Go, but it's like somewhere in between. Mm, it's really boring. <laughs> doesn't help that I've played Generation One multiple times, and oh god, it doesn't matter. Even if you make them the ca- the protagonists new, I still hate them. You know how you know how grindy Pokemon is. They made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it, it, no matter how bad that is, it will not beat what Fallout 76 is right now. Oh, An unplayable mess. Yeah, yeah. Um, the funny thing is, is uh, you can actually... Uh, anyone right now could crash their servers. Wow. As uh, you can... Like, when you get close to the end game, you can get nuclear launch codes, which you're supposed to farm off of enemies... But they were so lazy that they decided that every time you use a nuclear launch code, it doesn't reset. So oh all the nuclear launch codes are currently on Reddit that anyone can <laughs> use on any server, and they work. So all you have to do is go to multiple silos and make them land on close to the same area on the map, and you crash the server. Wow. Well, at least I yeah. have one thing to look forward to in about six days. Oh, oh yeah, and then there's the no damage glitch. No damage. It actually got worse. Uh, people oh, would glitch out and they would deal no damage. So they couldn't actually play the game. Hmm. At least Smash Bros. is something to look forward to, and I get to play as my girl Bayonetta. Hmm. I can't wait I till can't the next Evo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucking January. Sonic to play. No, no. It's all about January. And the rest of Evo Two remake. No, it's uh, January. No, it's January for Kingdom Hearts Three. Um, I can't wait till the next Evo comes around and the Smash Ultimate's there, and the next Grand Finals is another Bay- Bayonetta mirror match, and, uh, and all their fan and all their fans fucking cry salty tears and leave. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Skull fan, still playing Dragon Quest Eleven. Is it wrong that in the Smash um, ballot I voted thirty-seven times for Bayonetta? No. Good. It's just everyone, ever, just the Smash community hates her because she's broken. Good, because I've voted 407 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so bad. There's like half the crowd walked out at the uh, grand finals of the tournament at the Evo, the fighting game tournament, because there was a Bayo, Bayo mirror match. And since the community hates Bayo, that they just, like, half of them left out of, like, protest. Oh, and, it was it was gloriously salty. As Bayonetta would say, "Fuck off." Yeah. I'm sure she's well, at some point. The, the best part of that tournament was Little Majin playing Tekken Seven as King. That mm-hmm. shit was hype. Oh, of course, God. now we got Kirby, who's the only sole survivor. Oh yeah, the, the, the whole Thanos Thanos crossover meme. Yeah. Although apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there were t- two others that in that term could have survived that, but he didn't make sure they didn't because, well, Kirby's easy to play, and he's more unbiased to his actual kids rather than his adopted kids. Wow! Sorry, the of two survived. Kirby's, what... Kirby's got to survive. He's Sakurai Daddy's favorite. Yeah, the mm-hmm. two char- the two characters that could have survived are Palutena, his adopted daughter, and Bayonetta, the well, the witch herself, the best girl. Yeah, it's canon. Yep, it's gotta be. Oh. Hey, Dada was been cancelled. Was? Oh yeah. yeah I mean, season three. Yeah. 
Daredevil mm-hmm. season four, I think, is canceled. Oh, season, season four. four. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. They yeah. they actually had, they actually had like the entire season pretty much planned out planned out already story wise, mm-hmm. and uh, like they got the notice of being canceled after. Well, what's what's this thing about like Daredevil becoming so social justice warrior? I don't uh, know because I don't really pay attention uh, to it. Was like the show I know trying to put in like teach. Or claim he claims at least trying like put making like like some little like scene where he like makes a connection between Kingpin and like Trump calling out big news. Oh, gotcha. Why? Kingpin's supposed to be sense. like this horrible fucking person. Like no, uh, yeah, you're exactly. Exactly like, exactly he said basically no, well, to be fair, at least, that, uh, you know what? Let's say this. At least it didn't make a kingpin like a disabled half, um, you know, half armed something, you know, something like that. Um, oh, uh, come, 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 come out in a powered uh, wheelchair, uh, wearing a helmet uh, and drooling off the side. You me, Daredevil. Let me tell you a story. Hang on, a blind. <laughs> no, it'd be a blind Mexican Chinese demi. God disabled with no legs and shit. You know how I got this helmet? My mom gave it to me. <laughs> oh, so, hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, God, Nat hello. joined again. Oh, yes. Oh, man. And leave, thinking, but... but, you know, it's, you know, y'all talking about, well, uh, well, yeah. feces and such, scat. There earlier, we right? go. <laughs> there, <laughs> earlier that was, in that the was call. The topic. Yes. But you know, it's funny how much you know the BS has been filled out in the recent the gaming and such. Because you yeah, have well, what's going on with Follow Seventy Six? The all the BS has gotten so well such a Follow Seventy Six. They're actually thinking about actually doing a lawsuit, a uh, a lawsuit uh, uh, against the game because of yeah, the yeah, because they, they were yeah. Sorry, I interrupted that. My bad. Keep going. Whereas it's supposedly that if you got the two hundred dollar. Um, base thing like a super a deluxe edition. Instead of getting no. the um, um, like the big bag, like this cool canvas bag, you got a nylon bag instead. Mm-hmm. And well, people weren't happy about that. And supposedly the reason why they were so you know the um the reason why they gave them the nylon bag instead of saying okay, you know, they they wanted to uh, you know they didn't uh. You know, they said, "Hey, this is gonna be this and that and other." They said, "Oh, it costs too much." It, it's, it's like only, too- it's like only it's like only twice as much. And like I lo- looked up a tweet, it's like only twice as much, and like it, it only by like thirty cents. Yeah, and I'm like, wait a second. Most of your games sell out in record numbers. Where does the money go? What do you do? Is it is it is it fed into like getting um? Um, you know, making sure that um, Todd Howard is actually a more human, like you replace him with, like, with a more uh, a friendlier for a robot and such. Well, it's instead. definitely not going towards making a new game engine. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Um, well, since I already um, bowed out on the whole Bioware front, I can't wait for them to see what they're going to do with the next Sky, the next um, oh, the next version of Sky, which is going to come out and, you know, still wearing a phone or whatever. But also the next Elder Scrolls game. I can't wait to see them screw that up and everyone's screeching in anger and I'll just sit here with my popcorn and... Well, it can't, be any, wor- can't be any worse than Blizzard fucking up the new D- uh, Diablo, but um, re- really quick... Oh. Though, if- <laughs> hey, don't any of you guys have phones? <laughs> hey, really, really quick... Don't, with- don't you guys have phones? I, I, you, you, got, you guys have phones, don't, don't you? Hold on, hold on, Fubu. If you need to go because your throat's sore, then feel free. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Feel better. I know. Um, Thank you. you Hope you get well soon, Fubu. Hey, thank you. I I just barely got over being sick, and now it's back again. So it's like Uh, ah, it sucks. (laughs) All all that laughing from earlier didn't help. (laughs) (laughs) And that's actually good for you. You know, a little positive energy always helps. Oh yeah, definitely. Get well, Fubu, and remember, your hands are valuable, not your throat. (laughs) (laughs) but yeah sorry for for the (laughs) i couldn't resist that was good advice um, we also also need to let uh craig and big chief go too um so duke and shen can have their their five (laughs) can i just say one offensive thing before i go absolutely duke 
Yes. When you were about to say about speaking of shit, I thought you were going to go into some kind of weird story about how you're actually white and you just uh, went in a septic <laughs> tank accident. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Well, that would have been really awkward because, you know, I was always, you know, my, my parents told me I was black and such as I was born this way. I'd be really awkward if they said, oh, by the way, after we were born, we took a trip to the septic tank factory and you dropped <laughs> it. And say, um, there it is. Boom. You know, that would have been really awkward. And then, and then you That's go, a really oh, odd supervillain origin what? story. Where's my privilege? <laughs> Well, hey, if it's good enough for the Joker, well, wait, that was talking about the reverse Joker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For the I love. Do we do I we call you the shit mongler? <laughs> uh, all right, Fubu, just go drink some hot tea and um, and get out of here. It's, it's, okay. it's, instead of his, instead of his iconic Joker card, he uses a deuce. <laughs> <laughs> he just he, no. What he does is he leaves a shit in the top of your fucking toilet tank. Yeah. Well, then again, at least DC wouldn't be pushing him that hard. No, he leaves the toilet seat up. that I never even present. He goes around to random bathrooms over in Lakota and, and steals all the toilet paper. <laughs> Wow, exactly. Wow. I hope you don't mind wiping with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving now. Oh my god. Uh, oh, all right, goodness. see ya. But you know, Dang, this is amazing. Well, like I said, it, you know, same that would... channel, same everything else next month. Same shit. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But yeah, you know, it's funny how that is. You know, well, but you know how all that rounded up. But yeah, things are uh, things leaving in the the you know floating in the Thames of the you know British slang for for Natty there. Um, let's talk more about that old video game. What am stuff. I Welsh? Oh, <laughs> you don't count. Uh, well, um, I don't count. Well, Excuse me, I'm probably the most British thing here. You're Welsh, so that's no, like negative fifty points. So technically, I'm technically I'm half Scottish, a quarter Scottish. I oh, don't know what the rest is. Oh wow, well, he's all fabulous. Thank True. you. I'm always fabulous. <laughs> Speaking of fabulous, I'm about to make my fabulous exit. Bye, uh, peasant. Bye, my yeah. subjects. Your yes. queen is on. Your queen is on the move. And Bye. There he goes. And oh, there he goes sure. on the move. All right. Um, well, speaking of video game fuck ups, like Strau Enix, like lost recently lost thirty three million dollars due to the Luminous Studio switching focus from. All sorts of digital media, entertainment media, to just games. Because what they were gonna do is like, I guess this Luminous Studio was gonna like make movies, books, and anime and stuff. But oh lord! But the eventual, I think so, for some reason they decided to change their mind because I think it ended up not being worth it. So they switched it to just games. And funny enough, the guy who was the head of that studio, the director of Final Fantasy XV, stepped down not long after the, the switch focus. Like, not just from that studio, but from Square Enix as a whole. Yeah. You know? And yet, I'm still, um, you know, thinking about Square Enix and everything. All that time and everything. We still have no idea when the next of that Avengers game and such has been played out. You know what? They spent all that money. Remember, it was like a year or two ago. That I honestly think that game is never coming out. Avengers. <laughs> well, look what, look what happened with the Final Fantasy VII remake. Well, it was supposed to come out this year, but... The, oh, that game ain't they, never coming out. For some reason, they chose to... Initially, they chose to outsource it to a smaller studio, but they, but because they didn't realize they thought they could outsource a big project to a small studio, but that ended up biting them in the ass. Yep. Uh, well, again, the game industry has not really learned much. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at the past game, the past couple of uh, weeks, though. You had like, um, you had the whole well crappy Fallout uh, of Fallout seventy six, uh, and Battlefield five, which you know how bad it is. The sales is so bad, it they sliced their prices two weeks. Guess how much it is? Thirty thirty bucks. I thought I saw. Yep, thirty dollars. <laughs> 
thirty dollars, and this is coming off Battlefield One, which a game I actually ordered and I actually enjoyed. I enjoy playing the game on my little PC. It was fun. It was exciting. I I play it. It's fun. And this, I'm like, how do you? That is amazing. How EA has took something with so much love, so much, uh, you know, all the positive things of uh, Battlefield One and the Battlefield franchise, and well, continue the theme of crap, flushed it down the toilet. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, just... well uh, another thing I forgot to mention about Square is that they actually ended up canceling all the season two DLC of Final Fantasy Fifteen. Except this one villain DLC. And yeah, of course. Yeah. Like I mentioned this right after that because it's another video game fucked up. Because, like, they will all, part of this season two is they were also going to promise modding tools for the PC version of Final Fantasy 15. But that got canceled too. Well, didn't recently David Jaff, the guy who created uh, God of War, say that triple a games are starting to like, kind of die out I, I know he was talking about like how the main triple a games are kind of the same thing rehashed over and over and over and the example he used was uncharted comparing uncharted one and uncharted four as being basically the same game with a new skin mm -hmm. um but i think that he had a point but it was the wrong example i think that are people just kind of getting sick and tired of like you know a uh, uh, half-assed fallout in the case of Fallout 76 and a I have no idea what the issue is with Battlefield 5 since I'm not a fan of the Oh yes and that whole you know I love the fact when remember the marketing they said well if you don't like it called everyone who uh, that trailer E3 trailer and then and said you know I'm a little worried about this whole you know how they portray uh, uh, female soldiers and such they're like well if you just they call people uneducated and said well if you don't like it you don't have to buy the game well Ah, so it was, it was the usual uh, get what go broke. Of course it is. It's always the same thing. And by the way, um, how many of you guys and gals and whoever is still listening after this, well, crappy uh, wild cards? Um, crappy, how many this, this is the, one of the best ones we've had in ages. <laughs> well, oh, it's oh, oh I, I, get, I get it. But, <laughs> but yes, um, how many of you love that whole Parasite Eve uh, video game that came out way back in 1998? Oh, Nat, that's right. That's your jam, Nat. Mm -hmm. uh, well, guess what? Uh, according to that, to according to those rumors, that uh, there is um, Square, since uh, Square Enix trademark Parasite Eve in Europe, they actually there's rumors that they might actually do something with this franchise. They might mm -hmm. actually, you know, maybe do a remaster of the current trilogy. Some people say remaster current trilogy, or just say screw it, just remake the first game. But then again, that's this is Square Enix you're talking about. We're talking about here, and well, so we'll get know, it in the year 2030, probably. And you know, like, how, Square, well, like a funny thing is, like, remember that luminous engine that Square touted about how a lot of journalists claimed it was going to be the future of video games. Well, Square Enix has barely used that engine outside of Final Fantasy 15 because apparently its program, its employees have a hard time programming for it. Like Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be for on the Luminous Engine, but they switched it to Unreal 4 because the Kingdom Shadow was not compatible with Luminous. And it seems like Square Enix has, is possibly just ditching Luminous in favor of Unreal 4. Because Unreal 4 also speeds up development time, apparently. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I, Nat, you work with Unreal Engine. Obviously, it's a re there's a reason why they switched it over. It's just easier to program in. Uh, yeah. That, uh, Unity, <clears throat> um, on the whole, is better for like more complicated games. It already has, like, anyone who programs with Unity will know that um, things like uh, multiplayer games... Oh, oh Jesus. What the fuck is that? Oh, gosh. Oh, they're coming after us now. <laughs> I know YouTube was uh, going to come after us after this well, but it's uh, this whole... Uh, but it's coming after us, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, Unreal Engine 
like has a things like multiplayer mode and stuff like uh, enabled by default. Whereas something like Unity, uh, you have to do it yourself. So Unreal, I think, is more it's better to use for bigger games. You mm-hmm. Unity is okay if you're a beginner, um, and it's better for smaller, simpler proje- projects. But uh, Unreal is for more advanced stuff. Well, I've heard the Unreal it's really easy to make like high quality graphics and textures and whatnot. Yeah. And in, in that case, that kind of makes Lumina kind of embarrassing for Square because Luminous was supposed to be this engine that had that boasted the greatest, best visuals ever. Well, I, I, like, I, think, I also think like that Square is embarrassing for Square Enix just because, like, uh, the one video I absolutely love watching <laughs> over and over and over again is with the one where Conan O'Brien plays Final Fantasy 15. And he's sitting there going, like, Why would someone play this? <laughs> because honestly, the Square Enix, you know, wants to put a boy band in the game, you know, unless you. Uh, and remember, yes. remember, no more. I wanted to make this into a musical. So mm-hmm. imagine like this, the same cast, but getting like all the '90s boy bands. I'm talking, and then it wouldn't get like NSYNC or Bashy Boys or other stuff. They're gonna probably reform 98 Degrees or something like that. Mm. And they'll probably like, oh god, like new songs from 98 Degrees. I'm like, why am I thinking of like a? Why am I just thinking of like a gender swapped Final Fantasy 10 to? <laughs> I mean, essentially, isn't that it? Let's see. Boy yeah, the funny, you know, the funny thing: the guy who directed Final Fantasy X II also directed Final Fantasy XIII and its sequels, oh, including no. the Lightning Returns dress-up simulation game. Oh, no, I scratched <laughs> that. Not they wouldn't have that type of stuff. They would actually have like not ninety degrees, but you know what they would get? They would probably get um. Let's see who. Oh, oh, um, uh, uh, color me bad. That would probably be the four band they would get. Oh gosh, that would be the nineties. Is that and that would be the selling point? And I'm just like, why? I'm not even a good boy bands nowadays. I couldn't even get one of those like J pop bands that everyone seems to love. You know, don't I mean don't they have those uh, in Japan? Like the ten thousand like you see like every random like every couple of days on Twitter, you see one little K like like there's like a whole lack of these people who have these K pop bands and they go crazy for them. I'm like, I mean, I'm not crazy, am I? Because you do go to Twitter once you say these J-pop bands, you click well, on you them. On Twitter, you are crazy. Well, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> it's uh, just but... seems like Square Enix is. It just seems like one of the mo- alongside like EA and Ubisoft uh, and, and 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 all that shit. It's like even amongst them, like Square Enix just seems. In spite of being a big studio with all these studios they own, they seem to be very poorly managed. Uh, They seem to be very poorly managed. Like like one, uh, that loss I just mentioned. And the funny thing is they've had successful games this year, like Octopath Travel, Dragon Quest XI, and even 15, like back in 2016, sold a lot of copies, but like, like they keep making these asinine business decisions that cause them to lose money regardless. Well, is, mm. is that or is JRPGs also kind of going out of vogue? Um, I don't know. Persona 5 was a great game. I, I have heard that, yes. Well, yeah. like I said, the only thing you never see. Dragon Quest Eleven has actually has been doing really well for its series. Mm. I never care. I still Dragon need to finish Warriors. eight. I love well, Dragon Warriors monsters. Well, like the the funny thing is, like I hear people say how like turn base is outdated and that real time combat is better, but it seems like recently there's been successful turn base games yeah well, I was yeah. Gonna, turn base uh, is to me fine but just doesn't fit my head that in this major battle you have these people just coming these weird things like this okay we're gonna attack once and and that's it hit once and then you go back to our turn but Vegeta it's his turn <laughs> what <laughs> I, I I honestly don't mind much of turn base but um to me Come on. <laughs> 
for me for me to enjoy the turn base, you gotta have story. If you don't have a good story, I don't care. Well, that's true. Because um that that's the whole reason I fell in love with Persona Five. I spent one hundred and something hours on that game. And I'm actually playing it through the second time right now. I don't recall the last RPG I really want to play the second time. I don't recall the last <laughs> RPG story I remember. <laughs> well, the, the last RPG, um, actually, the one RPG I've gotten during the whole uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever you call it, uh, I got like for the last two Witcher games uh, for like for four dollars and three cents. Um, that extra three cents is for all the DLC, by the way. Um, <laughs> you, you don't know what you don't want to know what, what games I picked on Black Friday. Ooh. Well, at least did you go outside into the store no. to get them? No, no, I stayed inside, went on the website, uh, and I ordered these ATN up games. Uh, I still have no idea why people go out on Black Fridays or anything else. I mean, you, yeah. got, you, got, you, got, you know, the last time I went Black Friday shopping, I picked up a, a Wii for 30 bucks at GameStop. This oh, is the only oh. reason why you want to go out on Black Friday is if you're dressed like a bear and you're tearing down other people like the campers tents. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was, that was so that. good. I was like, the, the the meme that Nat showed me said, not the hero we we, need, we needed, but the hero we deserved, or something like that. And I was like, bravo. You gotta uh, love them first. But, um, two two things. Uh, number one, um, what do you guys think about the Sony PlayStation Classic? <laughs> It's uh, crap. Um, it's, the, uh, like, that it's one, like, and it's, from what one, it's like Pound Bell Minimum. Like, beautiful. They don't even have a lot of the iconic games, some of the, of the iconic so, games that people see, can so iconic, and like Crash Bandicoot and stuff, but like, apparently, rather than develop <laughs> their own in how. I don't have a. Well, like funny, like Sony, rather than develop their own in-house emulation software for the PS1 Classic, like what they usually do with like for PSN and stuff, they apparently just took and pub. Uh, uh, they basically took the already existing PlayStation One emulator that people use on the internet, like I think we armed, and just put it into the PS1 Classic. Yep, that's what I was been told. That's despicable, isn't it? And, 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 and it, it's worth mentioning that they got one. I think one of the big heads of Sony, like last year in an interview, he said, you know, "People don't care about these old games." Well, ask then, him. But yet, that's what they made you you um you market the stuff. And I will give a pass to Crash or Spiral stuff since they recently did have remasters come out. So. I could give a pass on that, but uh, for most of the stuff here, like I said in my podcast, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, plug, plug. But um, I, you know, I said, where are the main things that can, you know, the main big games and such, you know, you know, yeah. where are the games that, um, you know, um, you know, when people look at the, uh, when you look at, um, you know, when the games, you look at the uh, the classic games that were supposed to be. On you know, you look at that stuff of uh, yeah, great games on the PlayStation Classic. Well, it's I mean, missing, you it's do a lot of stuff to get like stuff like Puzzle Fighter. Why the fuck is Puzzle Fighter on there? Hey, my older brother is a big fan of Puzzle Fighter. Do well, not well, take then, it away from him. Well, then you, you have you have a present for him for Christmas. Then I know. I, oh, 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 Everybody oh, oh, oh. comes over here. He wants to play Puzzle yeah. Fighters. <laughs> it, it just seems like that Sony basically just saw the. Um, Duke Here's the, something, the, um, the, Papa. Hold on, Duke. The Sorry. rapper. It just seems like that Sony just saw Nintendo's success with the NES and Super Nintendo classics and just tr basically wanted to make a cash grab like that. Yeah, but that's that that Sony nutshell. Remember, remember when they did the Sony All Stars or some shit like that, where it was supposed to be a Smash Brothers? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, basically a like Smash that. Brothers clone. I mean, if, if I give Nintendo anything, any credence, two things, and one of them's going to lead to the second thing I want to talk about. But um, if I give Sony any credit, number one, it or Sony, got Nintendo any credit, is that they do have some good IPs and some good ideas now and again. Uh, the second thing I want to give Nintendo some proper credit 
for is the end of their Nintendo Creators program. Yes, I just finished, yeah, and... working, on, I just finished working on a video just now. <laughs> nice. No, no. And here's the crazy thing. I finished doing my um, live stream of Starlink, which Dragon Slayer has been, you know, in the past couple episodes was actually on, um, you, know, you know, and such. And I'm like, and it's still where people call like, you know, the, uh, you know, say Nintendo took some money. I'm like, you couldn't wait a couple, you know, wait, you could have done this earlier, you know. You know, I know I don't make much of my live streaming, probably only like a half a penny, but still, I want that half a penny, dang it. <laughs> but why is, but why did this whole stupid stuff, um, you know, this whole thing started? I mean, did they realize, like, oh, wait a minute, you know, we could actually get more money and, you know, more people to actually be like, you know what, more people will stop playing our games and people will like that stuff. Well, well, it's because Nintendo's a dinosaur. Is a, t- a lot of times Nintendo is part of Nintendo still kind of wants to cling on to the nineties. Is how I see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't realize that all the kids, all the kids are now grown ups now. And we want grown up things. Uh, well, it's like even when like people would use the excuse that <laughs> Nintendo's Nintendo consoles are kid toys for children, you you can't criticize them. Like even then, it's like no, my, a lot of the kids today, a lot of the kids today, like by today I mean like mid like early two thousand tens, would all playing Call of Duty. No, no, not playing Call of Duty. They're playing that Fortnite and doing those weird dances and. And PUBG and all the stuff that kids like to do and and I don't even care for. <laughs> yep. I you know I I'm like I look at stuff people would play Fortnite and I'm like it, fine it's fun but I jeez Louise give me a something a directive give me something to do in the, in that game you know what I mean but yeah, that's just bring, me yeah bring back Quake Three. And uh, that's dead, you know. That is as dead as pretty much um, as um, <laughs> as dead as pretty much as Final Fantasy uh, fifteen. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, f- fifteen bringing... sucked. I will admit that. If you're saying, if you're saying uh, bring back... I, I did enjoy. I'm gonna say this real quick. I did. I had some fun with fifteen, but its combat was unpolished. <laughs> it was too so, easy. Like, uh, to a point where, like, a boss fight was, like, frustrating, not because it was difficult, but because it was very hard to hit to get to the spot where he can get damaged. Mm. And it's like, but people keep saying, like, oh, this is a totally revolutionary and not, and a deviation, and this is a totally re- revolutionary from the typical Final Fantasy formula. Um, it's like, I'm sorry. Haven't y'all said uh, about every single Final Fantasy since ten? Yeah, um, fifteen. The fighting was too simple, and when yeah. I got to the final boss, all I did was like hit the X button. Yeah. Oh, oh, I so beat you. Like a simple eye patch wall. <laughs> said well. in his Final Fantasy fifteen video, it's not really the combat's not complex enough to be an interesting action combat system, and it's not really. Strategic or intuitive enough to be an RPG combat system. Yeah. Um, what was Laughing Man gonna say about fifteen? Before I interrupted him. Oh, I can't remember anymore, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, uh, I looked at what you did. Well, well you, mesh, you mesh. were gonna say something about Final Fantasy fifteen. That eh, doesn't matter. I mean, the, uh, uh, well, uh, Colonel, Colonel O'Brien said everything I wanted to say about it. <laughs> uh, um, I gotta um, uh, head out since we got other people oh, okay. coming. But um, before I leave and uh, and leave y'all with the uh, the rest of the the uh, refuse and the, I'll leave you to the furries and such. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, laughing man. Um, I just say, uh, uh, you know, I want to say uh, this. Did you know about that uh, Robin Hood uh, movie that was going yeah, to come out? Taron Egerton. Uh, Jamie Foxx wasting his time. Um, I I want to see it, but it looks terrible. It looks like it's trying so hard to be everything, like trying. It's like they want to be modern, but they want to go back in the. I'm like, you know, if you want to be a modern day Robin Hood, just do a modern day Robin Hood. What what's yeah. stopping you? 
I know yeah. Arrow and Green Arrow and everything else exist. Just tell you, you know what? Robin Hood, <laughs> Bond and Day, screw it. It's Bring a perfect domain. Do it. Bring back uh, the you, animated adventure of Robin Hood of those fox animals, make them live action. Well, well, you know the movie, the Robin that Robin Hood movie, the one Duke's talking about, came out on the twenty fourth, which was nine days ago, and it had a budget of one hundred million dollars. But thus far, it has only grossed about twenty six million dollars worldwide. I haven't even heard of this Robin Hood movie until now, so. Who they might have failed in advertising? Oh well, yeah, they tried. <laughs> well, it's Lionsgate, so that's not a surprise. Oh, uh, yeah. well, I think it's Lions. Yeah, it's Lionsgate. Like, what wasn't this a studio that tried to make a six or seven movie long Power Rangers saga, but then the Power Rangers movie didn't do well? Bandai. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, all right. I'll see y'all later. Peace. All right. Later, dude. Peace. You know, uh, I just, you, you know what's funny? Somehow Netflix has gotten these streaming rights to Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yep. So she waits. It's going to be a live action soon. Uh, I don't look either. anything like your anime. <laughs> if the if the Witcher is how how things are gonna go, then you just wait and see what happens. Well, they're, they're doing live action Cowboy Bebop TV oh, show, no. and they're gonna make a sequel to the the net live action Netflix movie. Also, I don't think director Adam Wingard is returning. He's working on Khan versus Godzilla. Yeah, it's almost like he. It's almost like the project was nothing more than a vanity project for him. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know much about those projects, so. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, all I know is uh, Netflix has been very, very hit and miss. Mostly mess now. Well, well, <laughs> like I think all young people are like lionizing Netflix, like they are gonna be the savior of the entertainment industry. But oh. especially like ever since they started out, started putting out original movies, and it seems even some of their TV shows that have recently have been there. Eh. Mm. Like I think Netflix has really gone by this quantity over quality, quality yeah, mentality. Yeah. And it's all and it's all the funny thing is it's in the case of a lot the movies, it's become um, an accidental it's become an accidental argument against creative freedom. Although I don't maybe Netflix did interfere somehow, but but it seems like a lot of the create a lot of these original Netflix movies end up being shut. Mm. Mm, good well, good they, they, they just now canceled, um, was it season four for Dale Devil now? Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Jessica Jones is still getting the season three, and Punisher is getting the mm. season two. Yeah, yeah. Punisher, Punisher is what I'm really looking for. Huh. <clears throat> and yeah. do, you think you're, do you think they're going to cancel Jessica Jones after season three? Or is no, no, no. She's a female. She gets a pass. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, they canceled Luke, Luke Cage. Well, he's a man. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so, so this, they, they, they canceled out the shows about the disabled man, the black man, and the gay man. And so now the woman is the only one left standing, right? Yeah. Well, don't you know, women being a female automatically makes you the most diverse dang ever. Yeah, even though you're, even though they're fifty one percent of the population. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, like apparently, like have you heard about that Netflix Shiwa? Like yeah. while the while the reviews from journalists have been good, the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is yeah, that's, that's, that's because the critics are seeing it through a uh, political lens. 
Oh no! But did you yeah. guys see the original review? The 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 latest reviews for the critic, not critics, the audience. It mm. went. It it was pumped up all the way up to I think seventy one percent last time I checked. Oh, so 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 they bought like an Indian review farm. <laughs> no, 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 it looks like some people. Well, it looked like people are getting pissed. It got so low, so now people are bombing the reviews. Mm. Uh, so it's basically like what the DC fans tried to do on INDB in response to the negative reaction towards Batman vs. Superman. I think so. Well, like the INDB score was like you know, 9 out of 10 on average. I still think that they have like. I know you can buy like reviews for YouTube and stuff. Not that we've ever done it. <laughs> but um, I know you can like buy like. Uh, views, reviews, ratings, all that kind of shit. It, <coughs> I, w- I was close. Yeah, it's getting a, it's a seventy-two percent on audience score now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And what, what's it up from? Um, Rotten Tomatoes. I, I know, but I mean, what, what was the original score? It was like down you know, to the thirties or forties. The original audience score was zero percent. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that. <laughs> wow. Mm. So yeah, that that that's some fuckery going on. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see. I'd love like to see the numbers. The funny thing about she isn't she supposed to be a He-Man character? Yeah, why, why is why is this particular version of she? Yeah, she's supposed to be like a ultra female looking, like Battle He-Man Barbie. Sister. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's supposed to be like Battle Barbie. I mean, she's supposed to be like you know the eighties version is very hot. Whereas uh, I, I've I, seen the comparison pictures of this one, it looks like a guy in a dress. Hmm. I know nothing about Shiva. I did not grow up with that show. Oh, believe me, if if you're a child of the late '80s, early '90s, man, if you were old enough to fap. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was fapping to um, SWAT cats. Oh no! Uh... <laughs> All right, hello, fur- Callie. All right, the, the furry's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's called conscience. No, it was no. I was, I was felt. I felt weird because like this is a cartoon. It did not uh, <laughs> went into my mind saying, "Oh, it's an animal." <laughs> well, as long as you're not I fucking mean, roadkill, you're good. Yeah. Is it, is it just almost, almost never. It's just mirrors the the new redo styles of the characters, like totally unappealing for some reason. <laughs> Oh, like what, they're just want to make them ugly. Like they saw how somebody did it, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, we're just gonna make it ten times ugly." Like, you see the design? It's like you made her fat. Yeah, and isn't she also like the master of wind or something? People are like, "Yeah, fat people fart." Well, <laughs> I thought about that. She breaks wind. Well, well like, from what I well, from what I heard, the 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 direct creator, director, and producer of the show. Apparently they got all from like Tumblr or something, like some Tumblr web comic. Of course. Yeah. And of course. and basically the, a lot of the decisions made on the were mostly Tumblr. So I guess basically there was a lot of pro- basically she projected what she wanted <laughs> to turn it into. Well, you know what. I mean? Now Tumblr's associated with child pornography and it's taken, the app's taken down off the Apple Store. So you know what? Circle of life, bitches. You know, you know what's funny? I don't, I don't know it was one of the uh, people who worked on um, Shiwa, but I think one of them actually complained on Twitter when she took a snapshot, like not snapshot, a picture of a, a sign saying what music's playing somewhere and it said, wait me, and she got offended, but it turns out it was wait me by Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was kind of funny, dude, but she looks like a lady though. by Hero Smith. <laughs> dude, like, I love. Uh, um, now? Uh, th- this is an off topic, but it's kind of related to animation. But is it just me or do like the Legend of Koa people, the Vol- Le- the Voltron, legendary, the, the pe- new Voltron people who like saw it off as like at the Avatar people? Do they have? Is it just me, or do they have this obsessive need to like insert a bunch as much wacky, super super wacky comic relief as they can, much as they can? Hmm. I haven't been watching those, so I don't know. Like I, I, I know Avatar had 
wacky humor <laughs> is not comic relief, but that was like, it wasn't, but it's like, it seems like, it's just some of the things I've seen in Voltron and stuff, it seems like they have this obsessive need to do put it in now. I don't know. Humor. Yeah. Matt, you're, you're, you're an expert at cringe humor. Not, not that you do it, but just that you say like a lot of humor lately is like Disney Channel humor. Yeah. Stuff that like is... It's a breed of comedy, isn't it? Is it like a what? It's a, speci- it's a specific breed of comedy. Yeah, it's... I'm trying to think of an example. It's like, a, it's like if you were trying to make a five-year-old laugh. It, like, and and it's, you see it creeping <sighs> over into a, like, a lot of things like Star Wars movies and the latest Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. It's like when it's like those shitty Disney Channel live action stuff with, with the canned laughter. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot of Disney films now. Big like, Bang Theory humor. It's like a lot of Disney films now, like Marvel and uh, Star Wars, they kind of have those kind of jokes in them. And it even has like a little, like the, the movie even stops for a little bit as if expecting a laugh track. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's, it's almost like bad James Gunn humor, right? Well, it's more like, it's more, I see it as more them trying to replicate Josh Whedon. That might be it. Yeah. Josh we- Jaws Whedon, I mean. Because, you know, don't, I don't fight. Jaws jo- Josh Male Ally. Yeah. Per- Josh, I'm not, Josh uh, Feminist Whedon. <laughs> yeah. Josh Sexual Assault Whedon. Right. But... Uh, uh, this is a completely random dog. This is a completely random dog, but what would it be like if instead of Ryan Johnson, if The Last Jedi had been directed by Zack Snyder? Might have been better. Uh, are you sure? Maybe. Could have got worse. <laughs> but, anyways, um, Kuna Drake, how's it going? We haven't heard anything from you yet. Um, I have a question. Um, when am I supposed to leave? Um, you can stick around. Um, but no. we haven't got a topic for anything from Kona Drake. So but he said one thing. Yeah, one thing. <laughs> oh yeah, live action Sonic movie. Ooh, uh, I want to see. I don't know. Is sexy anime going to be there? I don't know. The only cast members are confirmed is um, Jason Marsden from. A lot of movies as a is Sonic's probation officer. I think somebody from Parks and Rex is voicing Sonic, and then Jim uh, Jim Carrey is going to be Robotnik. Oh, please tell me it's not Aziz Anazari as Sonic. Uh, I have a question: Is Jim Gilly going to try to no, channel? channel like, is Jim Gilly in a, when he plays Eggman? Is he going to try to channel? Whatever he was trying to channel in his, in his role as the Grinch. That's what I was thinking. He's gonna be like, mm. I don't yeah. know. As long as, as long as he doesn't act up after the, the movie is done, like he did with the Kick Ass. Uh, yeah. W- wasn't there also that recent Grinch movie from Illumination? The CG, the CGI one. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen the movie, but so, but correct me if I'm wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong. Do they try to turn the Grinch into almost like a sex icon? <laughs> um, probably, probably, probably back in the old days. But no, I don't. I can't really see him as a sex icon except in the. Well, I mean, not, not not like in the little, little, little like almost like a like a sex icon, but just super grumpy. Nah. Uh, d- did I make Lappy me a novice with that comment? No, just sick. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> Ben Cumberbatch is the voice for the Grinch. Yeah, but this doesn't look any funnier than it looks like shit. Sorry. I know. I was just like, I just didn't realize it was him. I was like, oh, that's how he sounds like. <laughs> but um, unless Kuna Drake has something, we may need to start wrapping up. It's getting two in the morning over here, and uh, uh, that's not too bad. 
It's not too bad, though. It's not too good, either. <laughs> uh, Kuna, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for topics, I right. guess. Yeah. Um, can, can I add one more topic before we wrap things up? Oh, sure. <laughs> like, I know I keep saying about this stuff, but, like... Like, it, how much like, have you no, noticed yeah. how tightly packed December is going to be in regards to, like, how many movies Hollywood is trying to shove up people's face? It's because it's the big holiday weekend. They like, you have Aquaman, you have Spider-Verse, you have Bumblebee, you have the Mary Poppins sequel, you have Mortal Engines... Which looks like a movie that belongs in the 2000s. Looks like that kind of young adult fantasy film that belongs in the 2000s. And what, what else was there? What else was there? I know, know there were several more. But like, like it's simply because there's no Star Wars movie to, in December this year. They were trying to pack it really tightly. Like Alita at one point, Alita Battle Angel at one point was delayed to December, but then they delayed it again to February on Valentine's Day. Mm. Well, anyways, so we're not nothing looks interesting this Christmas, but we do need to hang up though. So I'm gonna uh, okay. go. And no, Shenyong, go no more topics. <laughs> <laughs> so. Big Chief said my limit is 21 minutes. I've uh, been here for a while. so uh, I, I didn't keep people... Um, I didn't keep with my boyfriend. Mentoring, did I? <laughs> no, it's just that... Uh, it's like 10 past 2 in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Net and I are getting red-eyed. Uh, okay. Um, well, y'all have a good night. <laughs> And something's apparently <laughs> funny to Lydia, so... Uh, uh, that is a question. Um, do y'all sleep in separate rooms? No, we sleep, we sleep on top of each other in bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> Matt sleeps on the floor. Yeah, with the dog. <laughs> Cur- oh, by the fireplace. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to let everyone go. It's late here, and I'm like, Starting my my caffeine buzz is starting to wear off. So okay. Anyways, bye. Bye, everyone. everyone Go and everyone have an excellent December. And we will talk. (laughs) We'll talk to you before. (laughs) (laughs) Is there a joke I'm not like part of? Okay, you can talk now. Bye. All right, well, I'm gonna hang it up. Oh, hi. Right, thank you for having me. All right, later, dudes. Bye. Bye. Bye.